Welcome to the High Amp Munich 2023. Next to me is Ari Margolis from Orender. And we're looking at the AP20. And uh, it's a, an all-in-one product, but with a power amp, if I'm correct. Yeah, all-in-one, just add speakers type of solution where, uh, you know, obviously with a render, we're well known for making digital source components. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've got digital output streamers, we've got analog output with a yeah. DAC built in, and now we have speaker output as well, so. Yeah, that's completely new, and you have servers as well. Yes, absolutely, and there's, there's a number of other integrated amp solutions on the market which may have some kind of streaming mm -hmm. integration, but in every case, it, it either depends on third-party software to make the streaming happen, or, or something like Rune, or in some cases, it just frankly sucks. So <laughs> But well, with Orender, you can't really make a product that sucks, so probably this is uh, quite good, but we'll get a review sample soon, well, I hope. Yeah, the, the amplifier part turned out to be easy, and now it has the heart of an Orender, so we have that Orender user experience and the um, Orender digital playback engine that we're well known for uh, you know, inside of this integrated amp, which is a true beast. The, the Orender engineering team went way above and beyond to really build this thing out properly. You designed the amp yourself? I rendered it, yeah. Well, we're using the Purify Class D ah, modules, um, which are uh, fairly common, but I think they are the best Class D amplifiers in the world, arguably. Um, in most cases, in most implementations of these amp modules, manufacturers will use a, a switch mode power supply, maybe like a Hypex switch mode power supply seems to be the most common thing. We tried that weren't terribly happy with the results, so we went with a full linear power supply on the whole thing. So you felt this thing, yeah, yeah, and warm. you realize it's, it's running a little warm. There's massive toroidal transformers in there uh, in a dual mono configuration, full linear power supply block all the way throughout. Also, the, the volume control is in the analog domain. It uses like an old school, R to R stepped attenuator volume control, which okay, so it's a, it's a resistor based vo resistor based volume control. What streaming platform do you use? You, you, you have like a whole series uh, yeah. over there. Which one is in here, and then you combine it to the sure. the Hypex? Um, Sorry, I can talk. You could you could say that it's an a render A20 for those of you who are familiar with the render product line. A render A20, which is our best DAC available. Uh, plus the pre-amplifier and amplifier section here. My other, maybe my favorite feature of this is it also has an analog input. That's a true analog line level pass through. So there's no A to D conversion. So, you know, I'm supposed to be the digital guy, right? But I also have a closet full of LPs, vinyl records. And so this is a solution for that as well. I can plug my phono stage into it and have a complete hub for my entire you know, musical life. That nice. So full, full analog as well. Um, Built-in hard drive. Yeah, it has two user-installable drawers where you can install your own yeah. storage capacity. Uh, so for people who have a collection of you know file-based content, maybe CD rips or downloads from HD tracks or something like that, you can load up a hard drive and put it in. But nowadays, streaming services have gotten so good that we find that more and more music lovers are really just streaming ex almost exclusively. I think that's a risk because yes. what I noticed is that some albums disappear mm -hmm. suddenly from your library and I was like, oh, damn. So I still buy a lot of files, but I buy, buy them from Kobe's or, or yeah. uh, elsewhere or HD tracks. But that's, the, that's <laughs> ideal. And the other risk of streaming is it's too easy, yeah. right? Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's disposable. Yeah. You go through and some algorithm tells you, these are the new releases of yeah. the day. You yeah. play a few yeah. and then you forget about them. There's no act of yeah. intentional collecting. So by you going out of your way to buy the album, yeah. Yeah. support the artist and the record label and load it into your library, where it's going to be a permanent yeah. installment in your library and it's yours that you care about it you know? makes it a little bit different and maybe that's why vinyl is also reviving that's exactly. and that's i like the analog uh, full think, analog path and i think the render app the user experience does a better job than most when it comes to preserving that library type of experience where you're browsing a library that's yeah. personal and yours yeah yeah price wise uh i mean the a20 is not a cheap product no. but yeah well quality yes cost money uh this one then uh, this is going to be uh, 25,000 euro. And if you think about all the different boxes yeah. and cables that it replaces, 
we 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 gave this unit a special sneak preview at the Expona show in Chicago yeah. Yeah. a couple of months ago, and uh, we were telling people the retail price, and the most common response was, "Oh, that's it." Yeah, it's yeah. I'm not shocked because I know what Orenda makes and the prices of Orenda, decent Orenda. Yeah, well, you know, 25,000 euros is a lot of money, of course, for a lot yes. of people. But still, I think for an Orenda, it's not bad. <laughs> it's a luxury audio product yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, but for the music lover who wants that level of hi-fi sound without all the hi-fi boxes, uh, yeah. I think it's a great solution. We're really curious and I hope um, because yeah, that, that a lot of people will be interested in, in a review of this. Um, it is a one-box solution in the higher uh, segment of our hobby, yes. like I call it. Yeah, um, yeah and, and I, I hope it's the solution that we, uh, we were hoping for. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we're, we're, we're giddy about it. I think um, our render has always been, you know, an audiophile brand for really hardcore audiophiles. And uh, this is our offering to bring that experience to maybe a wider audience who's interested in a solution like this. Yeah. Thank you for watching and see you next time.